So welcome uh, to Gentle Movement uh, Thursdays from 1045 to 1145. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm a program manager at MS Focus, the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, and every Thursday we do Gentle Movement. So welcome. Um, if it's not Thursday where you are, um, I appreciate you uh, checking out the video on YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, it's the last day of uh, National um, MS uh, Education and Awareness Month. And uh, it's been a pretty busy month um, and a pretty busy year. So thank you guys for participating. That's why we wear orange to, uh, to support um, uh, during the month of, uh, uh, of March to bring awareness because um, there's still a lot of people who don't know or understand MS um, and its causes, um, but also how it relates to people. So, uh, and this year, our theme was finding, um, finding your place in the MS community. Um, it could be finding your purpose, like what, um, you know, where, where you should be, what should, maybe what you should be doing, maybe you shouldn't be doing anything, maybe you don't exactly what you need to be doing. Maybe you want to do more. So we always welcome and encourage that. Um, so thank you for joining us and being here and thank you for um, participating and being part of it. Showing up is uh, the biggest part. Once we show up and we can be in the space together, that makes it uh, things um, a lot more joyful for everyone because um, we, we create a little bit of community. So today we're doing gentle movement. It's a mixture of yoga, tai chi. Uh, you know, we do some backflips every so often. It's all good. Um, we don't actually, but um, it's a mixture of, of just to just kind of like super uh, morning stretch um, that we do for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and you might do other things on other days. That's great. Um, you, you know, incorporating gentle movement if you're if you lift weights or if you do water aerobics or you do other cardio. This is a really good way to reset um, and uh, and um, kind of just slow down, focus, breathe, meditate a little bit. So we're just going to start with um, closing our eyes and taking in a nice deep breath. Holding it for just a second and release. And inhale. And exhale. We're just going to start with our hands. Just turning our hands and our fingers. We need our fingers to grip. Now, if you have um, any hand, you know issues as far as with, like with the hands uh, opening them up or closing them, it's okay. Just do what you can and just do it slowly. Right? There's no need to open fully, um, but just do the best you can. Um, and um, and then we're going to rotate out like this. And you'll notice when you do certain things, we want zero pain. Um, there might be a little discomfort depending on where you're at in your body, um, but opening and closing this, you'll feel a difference um, just like hinges on a door, right? So we're going to open and close. We're going to go a little bit faster. We're going to start incorporating our elbows, which then start moving our shoulders. Remember, everything's connected. So whatever we do in one part, even if we move our pinky, if we pay attention, we feel we feel other parts move up to our elbow. When we start moving our elbow, we start feeling our shoulder. So we're just gonna kind of go around, squeeze. As we say, kitty cats making biscuits. So we're reaching out as if we're grabbing for something. Right? I also try to make this somewhat functional. So we use things in every day. So sometimes we get injured when we do something too fast um, or we're off balance. So what we want to do with this is practice slowly doing things. Speed is not necessarily the game that we're in. 
right? We just want to do things nice and slow. We want to get the job done and we want to be safe, right? So I'm just starting to bicycle my arms out, almost like I'm swimming. Although I usually do the doggy paddle with this, which we can do as well. And then just rotate our hands around. So you might hear some puppy dogs barking. You might hear some weird sounds in the background. You never know. It's okay. And we're just going to start flapping wings a little bit, bring our arms up and down. And I'm lifting with my wrist, letting my hands just flow. And up and around. If it gets really loud, I'm gonna hit mute and then you can just follow me if that's okay. Cause I wanna make sure that we have a nice practice today. And these are the things sometimes in life you can't control, but we don't want them to control us either. Another deep breath in and exhale. I'm gonna bring my arms up and down into a prayer position. Right. All right, let's take a nice deep breath. I like to put my thumbs against the plate of my chest. Inhale in and exhale. And inhale in and come up. And then out and behind. What we wanna do is get our neck loose as well a little bit more early. So I'm gonna leave my hands to the side and just arm around this way. Come back. And let's take a deep breath in and exhale. Just lean a little bit. We don't want to lean our body, we just want to lean our head. So if you put your hands on the side of your, of your chair, you can lean a little bit more to one side or the other. And just take a deep breath in and exhale. On the other side. Listen up our neck. Now we're going to move our neck to so it's on the left shoulder and raise our right arm slowly. Should feel a little pull, but nothing painful. And let it come around and out to the side and back down. Now what we do is we want to breathe, we want to take it easy, relax our arm. We don't want our arm to be too stiff. If it's, too, if it's stiff, it's going to be tough to get up. So we want to relax as best we can so we can get a nice long stretch here. And just come up as far as you can. And then you can come back down. And come back around like this. Remember to breathe and then return to center. We don't want to get too off balance, so we're going to go to the other side. We're going to raise our arms up. Slowly, if you need to swing back and forth, sometimes that feels really good, and we don't have to, you know, bring our arms up all the way. But we do want to get there and come back around. Deep breath in, just go up and down. You'll feel when your arm moves, you'll feel different muscles in your neck move as well. So you just want to breathe in where it feels natural and breathe out. Go back if you can. We're going to return to the center. Now we're going to take a ball, pretend we have a ball, and squeeze it. So we're going to take a breath in 
and squeeze this ball. And look at it, see if you can see it. Relax your hands. Even though we're squeezing, we want relaxed hands, right? We don't want too much pressure, right? And exhale. Now we're gonna pull it, stretch it out like it's taffy, right? Put our head taff, or gum, or some sort of really sticky substance, right? And pull it out apart and then push it back and pull it apart. Breathing in, exhale. Now we're gonna put our hands down. Relax your second. Twist out your hand, because that uses a lot of energy, what we just did, doing the push and pull, right? So we just wanna relax our hand, shake it out if you need to. And just drop to the side. And back and forth with the head slightly, just very slight. Okay. What we don't want to do is lean over. Um, because that can we can fall forward that way. We just want to keep a nice up straight up posture and just slowly go around with our neck. Neck and shoulders, that's where most we hold our attention there and in our hips and in our feet. So we want to start doing where we press. I wish I had a better, let me see if I can do this. If this will help. So with my feet, I just want to pump, pump them. Are you able to see that? I have no idea because I can't see. I just want to pump them like this, lift up. You can see your feet. All right. Sorry about that. They're not very pretty. <laughs> but um, we just want to pump them like we're walking. Okay. And just raise our knees up as we go. I haven't had a pedicure in a while. So sorry about that. So we're just going to do it as if we're, we're walking. We're not lifting like this yet. Right, so we're, we're actually on our toes as best we can. If you're wearing shoes, that's totally okay. Our big toe holds a lot of weight and it gets, sometimes gets jammed up. Um, so if, if there's any pain there, don't continue doing it, but um, do what you can to loosen up your toes. And then we're gonna just lift our knee and lift our knee. Lift our knee, try to hit your hand. Put your hands out and try to hit your arm. And we're gonna raise our arms up a little bit. Reach for, for that. You can point your toe if you want, or you can leave it flat. You will get a different sensation um, when, you do, when you do these. We also wanna keep good posture instead of bending over, trying to reach. Wanna make sure we're straight up and across and out and just touch, and touch, and touch. Nothing crazy. Now we're gonna lift and grab. You can either grab here or grab under, and just lift up our leg to give it some support. And it also pulls right here. So we're just gonna let gravity do its thing. And take a deep breath in. Our legs are pretty heavy. So we can use some resistance, weight resistance when we do this, which is good. I'm going to bring it down. Now we're going to grab the other one and lift. And this gives us stretch for, for the shoulders and as well as lifting for the hips. So we want to relax our leg, let it unhinge. So we don't want to be stiff, right? We're not using our leg muscles. We're just lifting it with our arms. Deep breath in and down. Now, another way to do that is if you want a little deeper stretch, just put it in front and grab the knee and pull up, or just in front of the knee, not actually on the knee, but just in front of the knee. And grab like this. That works too. All right. Take a deep breath in and relax. Now we're pretty well warmed up. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty well warmed up. So another nice deep breath in. 
and we're going to do some yoga asanas right now, which are yoga moves, if you will. Um, it's not a yoga class, so I'm not going to use the terminology, but we're going to do where we have our arms out straight. I know it's a little fuzzy and blurry on my end. It's okay. You can still see my arms. That's cool. Um, and we're just going to turn our head and slightly lean in. We don't want to lean over. We don't want to go like this. We're not doing a, a um, where, we're, where we're getting off balance. We just want to lean in and look in this direction as if we're reaching for something on the counter, right? But we want to stay, part of this is to stay in balance. So check your feet. If you need to do some outrigging where you hold onto something while you do this, so make sure you have a nice grip and not too hard, right? Um, we want to be soft and then just lean in a little bit more. And then we're going to switch sides. So we're going to lift again, try to be as even as possible, right? So we don't want to be way up here. We just want to be kind of horizon, a little above horizon and lean in. Look in this direction. Inhale in and exhale. And exhale. And then come back. Now, this would be almost like a warrior pose in yoga, right? And there are other ways to do it. You can have it where your thumb is up and you use your thumb as kind of a leading point to look at. Um, and we're going to do something very similar, except we're going to go straight with it. And we're not going to lean our chin. We're just going to lean forward. Our back is straight. Our chin is up. We don't want to get our chin down and shoulders up. So we just want to make sure that we're here as if we're trying to pick up a box on the floor, right? In a seated position or a puppy dog or a child or something that might be coming at us that's small, right? This is also to help prevent falling. So if we do fall, we have our arms to help stop, hopefully. And we don't want to leave with our chin. We want to keep our chin up. So we're just going to look forward. and keep between the navigational beacons, which is our knee, and lean forward slight. And sit here for just a second. Try to square yourself so you're balanced. Deep breath in, and we're gonna come back up. Drop to the side. Now we did a lot of shoulder work, so we wanna make sure we work that out. So we're just gonna rotate and rotate Okay. All right, let's just sit for a sec, relax. It's the last day of the month for, um, as I mentioned, for National uh, MS Education Awareness Month. So I want to think back to how the month went for you and also if you were to able to take our theme and maybe find something for yourself that worked um, where you didn't see that before. And you just take a moment to think about that. If you take a nice deep breath in, reflective breath, right? And exhale. The goal is to be in the moment as much as we can, but it is important to reflect back um, and look back, not live there. Certainly a rear view mirror is smaller than the windshield. So we wanna make sure that we're not focusing on the past, um, but we certainly do need it as a reference point. It's totally okay. Plot points, if you will. To know where we've been and where we are and to celebrate that as well. It's been a busy month. A lot of things have changed. Um, every day things change, so. Just kind of referencing that, appreciating that we made it, we're here all together, and uh, and being uh, being thankful for that. Just take a moment for that. So we take a nice deep breath in. Relax our physical bodies. Engage our mind a little bit more. and just make sure that we're in a nice space. 
where we feel okay. Even if we don't feel great, we feel okay, at least. And maybe put something in for the future that might, um, might benefit you or benefit someone else, whether it's giving thanks for someone who helped or accepting things from someone who you helped um, or forgiving um, or forgiving yourself for mistakes or forgiving yourself for thinking you made a mistake or just general forgiveness. It's very important. When I do this, I also like to rub my knees. I don't know why, it just feels good. I just take my thumbs and I rub my knees a little bit just to get some nice, nice feels in there if that feels okay for you. You can also do it where you have your knees out and you grab like, it's like a bear claw and you put it on the, under the caps of your knee. If it feels okay, I know some people are touch sensitive um, or their skin, like it feels like it's burning or any number of things. Um, and some people have, have had knee surgery. Some people, if you can't do that, if rubbing the top, not the bear claw necessarily, but maybe more of a, uh, a softer rub um, on the sides, just to bring some, um, some flow in. Because this is adaptive, right? Anything that we're doing sitting, we can also do standing up. This is better to do sitting because you don't have gravity and weight. And so it, it, it frees up your knees to give them some, some love. Same thing with the elbows, same thing with any, Anything that's a hinge, uh, if you will. Same thing with ankles, all those things, because this is where energy gets trapped. Hips are really big for energy getting trapped. Um, and depending on if you want, we can do some uh, energy releasing type stuff. Uh, just let us know, you know, let me know, and I can work in some of that stuff. We've been just doing gentle restorative, but if we want to do like some energy releasing stuff, um, we just have to make sure that we're okay and, and balanced to do that. Um, Cause that can throw us off balance a little bit. So just rub your rub slightly if it's okay. If not, just gentle touch. Okay. Take a nice deep breath in. We can do the same thing with our shoulders. It's a little bit harder. It, it's really easier to do one shoulder at a time where we do the same sort of idea, not not, the, not up here, but just in the shoulder joint, that can feel good as well. It's almost like a mini self-massage. Um, if some people like to use essential oils, just be very gentle with that. If you, if you are using essential oils in the back, like if you want to diffuse some oils while we do practice or play soft music, totally okay. Um, but some people, I use a... Uh, a balm from Thailand. It's pretty hot and spicy, but it feels good. Um, and but some people like cooling. It's actually hot, but it's also cool. Um, and then you can squeeze these muscles too. Squeezing them brings blood flow. Again, if you've had surgery or you have pain, don't do that. But these are certain things for certain for some people who have um, touch. You know, like with. If, if touch is too much, sometimes doing, doing that yourself can, can bring some blood flow to the area. Because um, a lot of times our muscles are just tired, man. Just tired, right? We don't want to do anything. We don't want to move. Um, and we're fatigued. So sitting is okay. Um, using a chair for balance is important and good, especially if, you have, if, if there's an issue with balance hold on and to practice doing that because it's all a practice right and you might forget sometimes right, let's take a deep breath in and i just keep moving right even if it's a little bit just keep the momentum going roll our hands out again and do some waves in front of us as if we're conducting an orchestra So uh, for me, I slipped down some stairs, I guess, two or three years ago. And so my lower back is not really recovered from that. So every day I have to stretch 
some way and some and some days feels better some days don't uh, maybe you can relate um, but it's it's a matter of um, managing it uh, as best we can um, and doing stretches up stretches so we're going to do this we're going to come up this is for the lower back and over and down and hold on to our legs and keep our chin up our chest up and use our arm we're not pushing right as much we have we don't want our knee to collapse and come in right we want to keep our knee out and pull our shoulder which also helps the lower back deep breath in in order to get a nice deep breath in we need to rise up to let the lungs fill and exhale and go a little bit deeper if you can. Inhale in and exhale. We're gonna come out of it slowly. Inhale one more time. Exhale slowly and release and just let that arm dangle down as if it doesn't, it can't go up, right? And you're kind of leaning this way, it's totally okay. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna recenter, come back, go up. And over to the side. Exhale as we do. And inhale in. And exhale. And inhale in. Exhale. And inhale in. And exhale. And release slowly. And again, same thing. Just let it drag across. If you feel at some point you need to yawn, that's always a good um, good thing to do. Um, it's important to, to get our, to, for our face and all that stuff, um, to be able to not just yawn, but also it helps enact and hear, hear better. Um, as well, when we yawn and like open up our, because this time of year, springtime, man, we get the allergies and this, that, and the other. So um, opening up and getting unclogged is important. And some, sometimes we need to take some, uh, some medication for that. But generally speaking, it could just be air pressure changes, like we're in an airplane, because the pressure changes and, 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 and contracts, uh, expands and contracts. So that affects us as people. Um, so sometimes taking in a quick nasal breath, like this can help unclog and then push out. So we don't want to do too much of that. We don't get much air in the lungs when we do that, but it can punch out any of the clogginess that we feel. Hopefully that makes sense. So I just take a quick nasal inhale. My ears kind of pop. And I open up and that kind of, that releases. When we do this, sometimes we will feel, we'll get some tears, totally normal and totally okay. The tears are good. Um, it means we're releasing um, some cloggedness and that's totally okay. Um, yeah. And also when we do neck, uh, things like with our neck, back, forward, front, side to side, that will release some of that air pressure. Because a lot of times if we get neck pain, or headaches, it could be just air pressure. Sometimes, not always, depends on the headache and what's going on, but sometimes that, that will help, help relieve it. All right, so we wanna raise our crown, just top of our head, all right? Keep, but keep our chin up, all right? We're just gonna sit for a moment, take a deep breath in. Slowly push it out. Inhale in, slowly push it out, almost like a yawn. So this time we're gonna breathe through our mouth, opens up our ears, opens up our head, and then push it out, same breath, all right? We don't wanna do this too much because we can overheat, right? We that Because it's kind of hot breath, but it's a way to release. So now we're gonna take a nice deep inhale, slowly through our nose, and exhale through our mouth. And inhale in. And exhale. 
because our body temperature, what, 98.6? So anything that goes in, it's going to come out hotter, right? So the cool air might be nice, but then if we do it too fast, it's going to heat up and just pump out hot air. And we don't want to do that because that makes us super hot. All right. I'm just going to lean back slightly. I'm going to stay balanced. I'm just going to lean my head back. I don't want to get dizzy. I want to make sure my feet are on the ground firmly. I'm holding on to my knees. Hold on to the underside of your knees or your chair if you need to. All right, we're just going to lean back. See what that feels like. Not like lean back, lean back. Just lean back our head slightly. If it throws you off balance, bring it back forward. Slowly, slowly, take a deep breath in. Because right. sometimes if we're down... I'm just going to demonstrate. I don't want you to do what I'm doing. But if we're down here, our head's way down here, blood, the blood's going to flow here. And then we come up too quick, we get all dizzy. Same thing if we go back like this, right? It's going to pool. And we don't want that either, right? But we do need to do this for a stretch because the lung gets the esophagus, opens up the lungs. Take a deep breath in from up here. And exhale. I hold on to something because it can be dizzying, right? We don't want it to be too dizzying. So we want to come back slowly. Inhale in. And come back slowly to the center where we're raised up. And the only reason I demonstrate that is sometimes we have to do that for whatever reason. And we just want to do everything slowly. If we bend forward slowly. We're better off with our balance. We just try not to come too far down. You can do this with me now. Right, just hold on to the side. Hold on to your legs. Right, just take a deep inhale. We're going to lead with our chin back up. All right, make sure you stay in your chair. I'm grabbing the side of my chair if you can. Hold on to something to just balance yourself and just come back up the center. Why? Because we do this sometimes, just in our day to day, where we bend forward quickly, and then we but we also come up as quick as we want to go down. And, and doing that um, can be a challenge and make us super dizzy. So we have to do it slow. If we do it slowly, it's usually okay. So we can do it one more time. Inhale in, and uh, and a lot of it's about intention, right? Like. Doing it quickly to, is, is one thing, um, but if we can help it, we want to do it intentionally, like if we have to pick something up, we have to move something, any number of things that we have to do in our day-to-day -day life. We drop a spoon or a fork on the floor and we have to bend over to get it. Take a deep breath before you do. Intentionally go, okay, I'm going to pick up the spoon and fork. There's no rush. It's already on the floor, right? So unless something's, you know, but... You want to just do it as slowly and as meaningfully as possible. So I'm going to take my hand and pretend that I'm picking something up off the floor, remembering to balance counterweight and pick it up. I get a stretch in my arm and pick it up. I'm going to take it, put it in my other hand and put it back on this side and slowly, intentionally. There's no speed involved, right? I'm going to pick something up from this side. And I'm going to hand it to myself and bring it over here. So what, um, what I hope to avoid too much is doing this too fast. So we do this too fast, we can get off balance really quick because we stop paying attention, right? And then another way we can look at this is if we come up, we're not going for a box. We're going to try to put our hands on the ground. That's crazy, I know. I'm not going to make it. I know that much. I'm going to stop about right here, but and keep my chin up, right? If I do fall forward, I have my hands to brace me, but I also try to keep up enough where I'm not way off balance. So I want to stay up enough, my shoulders. Deep breath in. Go a little bit lower. Try to touch the floor if you can, right? If that feels okay. If not, stop. Breathe in, deep breath in. 
exhale. Inhale, we're gonna come up and relax as we sit up. That might be a little dizzying. And if it is, we're gonna put our arms on the side. Exhale, sit up straight. Close our eyes for a second or look if that helps. Some people, it says for some folks, closing their eyes helps. Some people, it helps to get a, a point, a, a drishti. So we're gonna look forward and reset. Everything we do, it helps, especially if, we have, if, if we're not balanced well, um, it's important and good to do it with intentionality. And that's part of what this, um, what we focus on in, in the gentle movement, um, whether it's putting on a seatbelt, there's no reason to do that fast, right? Unless you have to, unless you're in a race car, right? <laughs> In that case, we got other things happening too. So we just want to do some practical things that we need seat belts. If you're driving, it's on this side. If you're a passenger, it's on this side, right? And just being able to reach over slowly and do it and be able to be independent like that and be able to put it in and unbuckle and buckle it so we're safe, right? Laps. All right, just being able to come across this movement. Some people, if, if there's a shoulder issue, this is a tough one. So you can hand off and use your other hand, all right? So it's adaptive, or we can reach over all the way and pull across, all right? Chris, we can't hear you. You can't hear me? No, we can't hear you. I'm not muted, interesting. Huh. Can you hear me now? Hello? Nope, still can't hear you. Oh, Kelly says she can hear me. Oh, you... now I can hear you. Thank God. I'm sorry. It's okay. So what I was what I was sharing was the just working on um bringing like a seatbelt over. And there are different ways to do it. Some people grab from this way. This can pinch this arm and be very painful. Um, so it's just nice to be patient and come over and pull across um, either direction, right? Because we want to do practical things, right? We, we, we don't want to lose our range of motion and we want to do it. We have better range of motion when we're slow and more methodical, it seems. Um, depending on where we're at, especially if there's surgery or if there's any sort of, um, I know when I get blood drawn um, or any sort of thing like that, one part of me is pretty sore for a while. So we have to adapt to what we're doing, right? Pulling the covers up, right? That's this motion. Taking a deep breath in, pulling covers up, grabbing and grasping things so this helps so we're going to do a little bit more of this we're going to start slowing down right and just be intentional about what we do helps kind of keep us in a space a safe space um, we we don't want to be overly cautious right but we do want to be safe so let's take another deep breath in we're going to start slowing down right I don't know, we're a gentle movement, we're already going slow, but yeah, we can even go slow, believe it or not. And so stillness is one of those places, it doesn't mean there is no, it doesn't mean it's without chaos, right? There can be stillness and still some chaos going on. Um, the grass can be still, but the wind can be blowing all around it. And the grass might move a little bit, but in relation, it's, it's pretty still. Um, so mentally being gentle as well, gentle with ourselves, uh, gentle with others, but especially, our, it really does start with ourselves. So being gentle with ourselves, being thankful, being forgiving, being grateful, things like that. Hopeful, all the fulls. So we can, um, it, it helps us find where we need to be and if we're at the right place and time. 
So just take a nice deep breath in. And there's nowhere to go and nowhere to be right now. And we're just gonna start getting into a relaxing pose. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my feet out a little bit and stretch my toe if I need. That feels good. I'm gonna lean back. I'm not gonna slouch. My shoulders are still up, right? My chin is still up. I'm just gonna start being mindful of my body and what it needs, right? If there's something your body needs right now, um, satisfy it, it's okay. To, if you need to uh, have a drink of water or if you need to, uh, any muscles we didn't move, which there are plenty, there's back of the leg. It's tough to do that in a chair, um, sitting. You can do, um, they're called glute squeezes. Um, where basically you squeeze your glutes um, and that helps lift and raise the muscle in the back. The, the tricky thing with that is you can get, um, if you do it too much, um, it can get tight, really, really tight um, and, and almost like a Charlie horse, I think is what it's called, um, where it gets like a ball. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do some of that in, in future. Classes will probably start getting up out of the chair. That's okay. That works for everyone. Right? An enormous ceiling. So I'm going to slide a little closer. A lot of space here. Headroom, is what it's called, in the video profession. So I'm going to look like a super giant right now. Don't mind me. I'm not really that tall. I'm only like five something. So, but. My knees, I have huge knees, I never realized. Uh, just kidding. All right. And so we're just gonna relax. You can bring your legs out if you need. Bad jokes, good stretching. It's right. really gentle, good movement. Take a deep breath in. And maybe think of some practical things that you do day to day, starting the car, right? If you, if you turn a key, opening the door. These are things, these are motions that we need that we, I don't want to say take for granted, but we don't think about, right? We don't think about the need, the, the importance of opening a door or not opening a door or pulling and pushing because um, we're so used to it. It's almost like breathing. So that's, this is one of the reasons why we do focus on, on the breathing. And we're just gonna rotate our eyes around. We're gonna go up and to the left, down to the right and back up top into the center. And do that a couple of times, it's super slow. Nice, intentionally doing it. Your eyes appreciate it. Deep inhale in and exhale. And just relax your muscles. Just gonna take it nice and easy. Slowing down just for a couple of minutes. And it's I'm just gonna let my arms dangle on the side. Inhale and exhale. I'm just gonna start coming back, just really slowly, right? We don't wanna be in, this is Savasana in yoga. This is like a, just a gentle pose, um, relaxing pose. And we just wanna be here for ourselves, uh, just for a minute, let your mind wander. 
Please start coming back. Deep inhale and exhale. Start moving your limbs, your joints, your hands, your fingers, your toes. And inhale in and exhale. Just start coming back slowly. You're going to not spend as much time here as we do sometimes, but just enough to get the feeling, just to get that really quick, deep relaxation, to understand and appreciate that this is how quick it can be. We get kind of a restored feeling. It's not necessarily all the movements we did, but the mindfulness that we have, the space we have. And deep inhale in. And start to open your eyes, moving your hands, moving your feet, moving your neck, moving your shoulders, and come back. Um, not being here for too long, you might again feel some misty eyes, totally okay. Totally okay. It's all good. Maybe have a um, think about how the rest of your day might go. I'll go ahead and picture it. Or maybe not. Maybe it's like, oh, I'm going to take a nap now. That's totally cool, too. Yeah. But just inhale in, exhale, take it easy. No big deal. I'm going to come to you now. Give you hugs. Give you hugs. Hugs over here, hugs over here. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's doing okay. We're gonna, I wanted to stop class a little bit earlier than normal. So it's a little bit shorter today. Um, I hope that's okay. Um, so I want to thank everyone for for coming um, and uh, and doing some gentle movement with us. If you have any requests, um, you know, please make sure you email me at Chris at MS Focus C H R I S at MSFocus dot O R G. If you have any requests or anything you want to do or have me stop doing or change up, we can totally do that. I try to keep the same thing, but we can certainly change things up um, as well. Um, I do have a, we, we do have a pretty big announcement. I guess it's okay to share because um, it's the 31st of March. And that is that um, our very hardworking and dedicated executive director, Alan, um, today's his last day um, at the foundation. He is going to be spending a lot of time with his wife, um, doing a lot of fun stuff and doing a fair bit of traveling. And we want to thank him for being um, a great leader and being um, a mentor to a lot of folks and being part of the MS community for as long uh, as he has. Um, and, uh, and a lot of the programs that we have uh, uh, started because of Alan just like this one. Um, and um, we have two, we're gonna have some co-executive directors. It's very exciting. People who've been with the foundation for a very long time. And that's Casey Minnis and um, uh, Natalie Blake. They're gonna be uh, taking over for Alan uh, beginning tomorrow. So that is exciting news. It's been a long time since we've um, had a transition like this and it's going really well. Uh, very smooth. Um, one of the reasons I'm ending class a little bit early is because there's a retirement party for Alan today, it's starting at 1230. So I want to make it uh, over to the foundation for that. Um, and I will give him uh, all the best wishes from, uh, uh, yeah, from, uh, I'll give him best wishes from me, Kelly. Um, and uh, he's done a great and fantastic job. Um, and I'm sure he'll still be around in some capacity, but certainly not. Um, uh, uh, certainly in a different capacity. So um, we're really appreciative to him. Um, 
yeah, so I just wanted to mention that. And again, it's the last day of the National uh, MS Education and Awareness Month. If you have um, uh, if you have any questions or you need an awareness kit or you need to sign up for something, we have our Facebook, we have uh, Instagram, we have YouTube, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and our website, which is msfocus.org, which you can find old, um, older, a back a backlog of magazines if there's any information you're looking for um yeah and so i would just want to thank everyone for coming today um whether it's today or on youtube and and two years from now thank you for coming um remember tomorrow is april fool's day to do have some fun and shenanigans with people um and uh yeah and have a good rest of the week and thank you guys so much for coming I think that's everything. Yes, it was. Thanks, Chris. Thank <laughs> you, Kelly, for coming in. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And next week we'll do a much fuller class. Um, but yeah, we just want to make sure I get over there and, and all that. So I can say hey to Alan. Hey and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, Kamani, uh, for being here and, and helping out. And um, I'll see, we'll see everyone next week.